All right, all right. Jay here. We are out on a beautiful, calm day. And we are in the Mosquito Lagoon. Just to FYI, the Hollover Bridge is closed. Luckily, I took the north exit, so I didn't have to deal with that. The other thing you might want to know is they are doing prescribed burns. Lots of smoke. Got to go kind of slow. And, um, yeah, I don't know. If you got asthma, you might not want to come here because or any other kind of breathing problems because it is very smoky this I think it might be a combination of smoke um, and some fog but is is 90% smoke that we're seeing here all right I am going to probably look for some redfish and I think I'm gonna tie on, I think I'm gonna tie on my uh, top water I have a NLBN little mullet but I, I really think I want to try a skitter walk so the grass looks wonderful here um, I'm sure the birds have kind of been burnt out of the area with all that smoke but uh, I don't think it's going to affect the fishing, hopefully. All right, S stay tuned. I finally got rigged up here. I got a skitter walk. Got a skitter walk on. And um, a Slam Shady 2.0. It is glass calm. It is beautiful. I'm so psyched to be here. You guys have no idea. The water is crystal clear. The grass is starting to come back from its winter uh, dormancy, I guess you'd call it. Hey, maybe I'll scare one over to you, buddy. You want me to scare one over to you? Your balls deep there, buddy. Almost balls deep. Oop, oh, sorry. Sorry to ruin your day. <laughs> yeah, well. If you ain't got one by now, it's not my fault. Oh, there was a redfish for sure. For sure shot out of there. See that mud? That was a redfish. Wow, I wish I would have seen him. I think he was just hunkered down. Uh, I think the trick is to find them before they find me. All right, there's nothing else going on. I guess I'm gonna up the trash. Drop my anchor because the wind is blowing away from this. This is what not to do. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mother Earth. It's Earth Day. And Jay is here to save you. 
All right, I'll do a little surgery. All right, people, don't throw balloons out. This is where I have my garbage can right here. Spotted a little crab right there. He's on that black rock crawling around. He doesn't see me yet. Oh, he might have seen me. He's hiding me. All right. I wonder why this rock is so black. Okay, get back. Get back to whatever you were doing. All right, Jay did his good deed of the day and got that balloon off the shore. Now we're gonna see what good luck that's gonna bring me. Hopefully something. I don't even see any mullets around these rocks. Much less sheep's heads or redfish. Uh. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a bigger fish. There's a bigger fish that just swam away. Hmm. And I see something this way too. I just blind cast it. Not looked around so much. There's a fish! Alright, first fish of the day. Whoa! <laughs> On the rocks. Whatever. Oh, it, it's what I saw, I think. That's what I saw. It's a nice trout. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I saw on there. All right. The rocks paid off. Look at that. That's exactly what I saw. All right, the skunk is off. <laughs> That's exactly what I saw swim away. Boy, he was hungry. Gave me a second chance. Oh, there's another one swimming away too. Another fish. Huh. Well, I'll be darn. Let's see if I can get him off of here. Beautiful colors on this trout. Nice. Look at the colors. Oh, he's grunting. Wow, and I ended up catching him. My hands are still wet from the balloon. Picking up the balloon. Wow, that didn't take long. That After I picked up the balloon, I got the trout. All right. I love it. <laughs> I love it. My good deed of the day paid off. Although I probably could have walked down the shoreline from the balloon and fish the rocks. All right. Now I better focus on getting back close to the shore because there is a west wind. Maybe there's more than two. All right. 
I love it. The good deed paid off. A little strategy involved too. Looking for some predators around some rocks. But definitely the good deed of the day. Picking up the balloon didn't hurt. Now maybe I should drop the anchor when I get a little closer and see if I can poke away in another tr trout or game fish of some sort. Maybe there's a snook lying down there. I gotta wait. I gotta watch out for this wake. It's got a thing that flips Jay over when he's not looking. Oh, yes! <laughs> I like it when a plan comes together. The plan was to look for game fish over here by these rocks and sure enough I saw one he kind of pulled off and then I don't know was that the first cast I think it was like the first cast he was a hungry he was a hungry trout maybe Maybe I was the first thing that, oh, something's on there already. What is that? Whoa, look at the size of that stingray. Holy mackerel. I think somebody was on, somebody was on my, oh, it's like a little puffer fish. <laughs> All right, Jay, don't flip over. And now your disappointment. Oh my goodness, yes, I was getting a bite. Puffer. Look at that. Come on. This is where the snook would be, I know. If I was back home. For sure. There's one! Oh, fish! I got a fish! He was in the mud. What do you know? I guess I should have been fishing this mud. Oh, it is a snook. I just said I would be fishing here if I was back home. Alright, look at that. The snook are in the mud, just like back at home. Look at that. Nice. Alright. Thanks for playing. <laughs> wow. All right. Got that pattern figured out. No, maybe the redfish are in here too. There's not a big area where there's mud. So I can either catch a bunch more of those little guys or maybe a redfish and get a slam. I got the trout. I like it. I like it when you figure something out. You see something different and you say, hey, what I've been doing, it's, it's not working. There's a redfish. Holy schmack. All right, there was a redfish. He was dark, dark could be. His head was down and he was like in a pothole like that. That's the first one I've seen in like eight hours. All right. Maybe I can 
drift the shoreline. Look for a few more. He was like asleep in that bottle. I think if I would have thrown my lure through there, he would have woke up. But yeah, I can't go drifting this fast. Expect to catch him. Well, that's going to do it for today's adventure. I really had a great time. It was a beautiful day. I saw some great stuff. You know, you go up there, you think you're going to really kill them. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. Well, this time I didn't. I don't know if it was the smoke. I don't know if it was the full moon. I don't know what it was. But I saw way fewer redfish than I've ever seen in this area. I saw one for sure and maybe a second one. And that was for fishing from like 7.30 to about 2 o'clock. So that was, you know, very, very unusual. There was a lot of boats in there. And they all started off in there. And I think they thought they were going to be in there. And they all left too, eventually. But I don't have the choice of motoring out of there with the paddleboard. So I kind of had to stick with the area and um you know i still had a great time learned a lot and i'll be back next time i'll get them all right tight lines jay <laughs>